Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, do an update to Quant um, a little bit for you. When I'm checking out, I was waiting for the reaction that Quant did and it uh, hit a reaction. So just let you know what I'm checking out with Quant Crypto um, since it's a strong crypto and it's in a bullish sequence until it proves otherwise. Okay, so went up into a wave and uh, look for the opportunities that could be coming up for Quant when Bitcoin makes its trek probably back to the downside, see where Quant is going to end up and if there'd be an opportunity there, kind of like back in June of 2022 when Quant hit the bottom. It could do it again, in my opinion. Um, is it going to happen in the next week? No, I'm not saying that. It could be over the next 30 to 60 days, guys. So you have to be patient. But if you're patient and you just hang out and wait, you, and get ready to uh, potentially deploy capital uh, for longer term swing trades, then that's when, uh, you know, you can actually make the uh, the serious gains, guys, in my opinion, okay? Especially right now with the all the uncertainty in the market. So patience is going to be key here. Uh, also, too, I was going to go over a little bit on the, um, some of the stuff, because just seeing, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of people, the, the sheep are, uh, you know, out there, the, the, the herds out there, and uh, they're crying like little pigs right now because everything's like coming down really, really bad, especially the Bitcoin miners. The uh, micro strategy just getting pummeled. But I, I went over micro strategy, guys, here on the monthly chart. Let me go to a uh, weekly chart. Take a look at micro strategy here, and you can see I'm waiting for micro strategy to get down into that box, guys. Once max, micro strategy is down into that box, and um, let's see, 130, let's say 130 to 120 and maintains that low of 92, $93, something like that. That will be the area that you go over, back over, check Bitcoin and go, okay, maybe Bitcoin somewhere at the bottom. So they're all going to come together, not going to come down the same type of pattern, but they're going to be kind of similar sequence, especially the uh, micro strategy, maybe the miners or something like that. Some of those miners probably aren't going to make it. They're probably going to go out of business, at least the charts looking like that's a, a, a real probability, okay? with some of them so and that could happen um but i'm not worried about that because you know and then um i was talking to uh you know um some people about tesla and they're like greg what do you think about tesla there you know what what, what do you think's going on i said well it looks like to me um it's a potentially buying opportunity of a lifetime i just don't think you know if you want this to continue if you want this to continue to fall and it could, pre-markets already have a bounce on it. It's probably going to have a significant bounce in that area. If it's going to fall, probably bounce in that area, come back, bounce to say 150 and then maybe come back down. But in the weekly RSI, it's the lowest it's ever been. I'm looking at the uh, the monthly guys. The monthly RSI is uh, almost taking everything out. So it's almost to the, yeah, it's tagged right to the lowest area that it's ever been on the monthly RSI. So I'm not saying to get into it now, but this is definitely an area. If you're looking for an opportunity going in the future, in my opinion, with Tesla, it would definitely be a time to be checking it out right now. Okay, guys. Um, I don't think the uh, the car company, Tesla, with the biggest car manufacturing plants on the planet, with multiple uh, uh, plants, is going to be going out of business anytime soon. It's my take on it. Let the sheep cry like little pigs. And you look for the opportunities because my guess is that those that are going to be getting into this and looking at this probably three to five years from now, they'll be laughing about what's going on right now. And all those people are like, oh, I wish I would have bought more Tesla at 109 or 107. So that's my take on it, guys, and everything else. So let's go back over quant. All right, guys, I'm on Quant on the 12-hour chart. And uh, here's the things I'm I'm looking at with uh, Quant, guys, is that I think it came down here into this move back up. You can see where it got rejected off of there. It hit the bottom of these areas of these waves, okay? I have it on the 12-hour. You put on other, other uh, time charts, you can probably see candle bodies. They came right up to that area, rejected it. And I think there, you have a good shot. Excuse me, you have a good shot of quant coming down to one, two, three, four, and then coming back down to a five wave. Hitting that 1.618 target area is what I'd be checking out. 1.618 is and as deep as this 2.0, which is a $94 area. So, like I said before in previous videos, this is definitely the area um, 
that it, uh, I expect Quant to get down into, guys. So um, looking at it on the daily chart, what it did in the uh, RSI, let me uh, show you guys that. Right in this to this area, you can see how it went up that high, and it, the RSI almost took out that area, giving that hidden bearish divergence, telling you it's probably going to come back down. So definitely wouldn't be looking for Quant making a move into the RSI, something like this. Could take it a little while, okay? Somewhere down like that and getting back down there. And that would be, uh, you know, the setup that I'd be looking for with uh, coin like Quant, guys. So it's actually looking pretty, pretty decent right now. Um, you know, here you go. Some people be looking at this and going like this. Okay, there's your thing. You're uh, right about that area. And then possibly going something like that, going down to 55. Um, typically, that's a possibility. I'll go over that real quick, how head and shoulders usually work out. This count right here with quant is it could be a very bullish count. Can't really call this a one, two, three. This didn't go far enough. It could be in a one, two, one, two coming back down. And then it could be going into a third wave over here. And it could really rip. You want to be aware of that. But you want to be aware of this too, to the downside. So, you know, you have to get, you have to, you know, react to what the market's going to give you. Um, personally, I think it's setting up to make this move over here. Just everything, it's kind of, I don't want to say the stars are aligned or anything like that, but you know, if everything kind of plays out, Bitcoin goes down to a bottom, the Fed probably maybe does a pause, et cetera, and everything. And then, you know, the summer of, uh, the spring and summer of 2023, Quant could be ripping guys. So that's kind of what I'm looking for with it. Um, as far as the, uh, head and shoulder patterns, this is usually how those work out guys is like this. I'll go over one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then you have a uh, head and shoulders pattern. Once it completes the whole sequence, that's where you get your head and your shoulders right there. And then boom, it comes down in that fifth wave. It goes, it completed the sequence and now it's correcting the sequence over here. Okay. So that's usually how they play out. But if it's in just a one, two, you know, you can have the same thing in these, you know, they don't always play out as, you know, you can't have a mistake with them. Right. So you just have a little mini one in here. Just I'm showing you an example for my followers of my channel. So basically, I made a big one over here. Now you have a mini one. You see right here. So that's uh, that's how these play out. Um, they're good patterns to follow for sure. So there's your head and shoulders, boom, and come back down. So just to let you know that. Um, that's why I use Elliott waves as a gauge. I like to use I use like to use the patterns. You know, the wedge, head and shoulders, all that stuff. Take a look at it, reverse head and shoulders. They do work. They do work, just not all the time. That's what trading is for. Not everything works all the time. But I just I use Elliott Waves as a gauge to get a a, a view on the trend more than anything with uh, Quant. And Quant's actually looking really, really good, guys. As long as Quant, I think Quant's going to maintain that $87 uh, dollar area. Um, more than likely, I think most of the correction was done here. It's popping up. And it's doing your typical um, one of these types of moves. Come back down and then maybe back down and then get out of there at some point like that. Um, kind of like what Bitcoin did. And, uh, I think it was right before at the end of the correction in July, August, it came down into aggressive five wave move. It bounced and it came back down to move and then got out of there. So somewhere around that time. And then the other coin I just wanted to go over with on you guys real quick is the, uh, trust wallet. Cause it's in a bullish sequence and I'm checking it out here on the daily. It's coming down nice and deep into the RSI. And uh, this would be an area right on that trend. You can see this area. It's coming back down to that area, guys. So definitely want to be checking out uh, Trust Wallet, you know, since it's already in a bullish sequence, 12-hour chart. You got a little bit of uh, divergence in that area, exaggerated divergence. Could take that out. Um, on the eight-hour chart, you do have that divergence right there coming to that area. So the uh, area I'd be checking out for Trust Wallet on that trend is looking like right now about a dollar twenty, okay, dollar twenty, and you see massive amounts of uh, you know candle bodies daily, maybe even weekly candle bodies below there. Then that would maybe an area to start to get concerned with a trust wallet. Either way, once it's complete with that correction, uh, in my opinion, there'll be a move like right here. That'd be a pretty good little trade, in my opinion. This area. And then boom to that area, something like that for a pretty solid, you know, you can make double your, uh, double your bag right there, possibly. And that just that little move right there, guys, you can see here in the 12 hour chart where the RSI is, 
it's taken everything out almost. So there, you know, you have an example, it went up and done, you know, and there. So obviously, you know, just make sure, like, what's the market doing? Is it still bearish? If it makes that move, it's still bearish. Obviously, you exit out, okay? Or take your profits, et cetera. Make sure you do that, especially with the uncertainty in the market right now. Vitally important. Take those profits or exit out of all of it. Um, I do exit out of everything from time to time. You know, I did it with Chili's. Wrote Chili's from 19 to 26. I just exited out of everything because the uncertainty in the market. You have to consider that. We're not in a confirmed bull market right now. We are still in a bearish cycle. And there is no um, there's no evidence of a start of a bullish uh, a run yet. You have to look for the signals. You have to look for the signals. It's going to take us to... It's going to take a little bit more time for that to uh, show up, obviously, in the uh, cryptocurrency market, guys. So 30, 60 days, maybe even as long as 90 days. If you made it all the way to the end, do me a huge favor. Drop a like. Hit the subscribe button. Peace. Thank you.